Dinosaurs and man, two species separated by 65 million years of evolution have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. Could it be true? Are dinosaurs still roaming the Earth? And could they be, in of all places, the mountains near Lake Tahoe? The first thought that entered my mind was, I've disturbed something which I shouldn't have disturbed, something which should have been left alone. Frank Sharo is a building contractor from Gardnerville, Nevada. He and his wife Camille claim that they found a living, breathing, prehistoric creature. This is going to be good. We're excavating uh, for utility lines, service lines, and uh, that's where we came across the find. What I saw inside of it changed my life, uh, will probably change my life uh, for as long as I walk this planet. There were five large eggs, two of which were crusted up shells, broken shells, two of which were intact, and the third one uh, was broken, and that is the, the egg that contained a living animal. Frank says he quickly called his wife Camille over so that she could snap these pictures. Sadly, they say the living creature died that day. It just struggled to stay alive, struggled for breath, and, uh, and then it died. But fear not, there were still two eggs left. The Sharos quickly transported the dead carcass and their prize eggs back to a shed located behind their house. Never guess what happened next. The eggs that were in our tool shed hatched, and what they, whatever was inside of them escaped. When they hatched, they went through that, uh, that sheet metal wall like it was paper. I mean, they went through it. They didn't claw their way out of it. They didn't uh, bite their way out of it. They went blue through it. Understandably, Frank and Camille were dumbfounded by what they say happened to them, but they understand the seriousness of their find. Think about the ramifications. Think about it. I mean, panic. You know what, panic and people, uh, the, the first thing, the biggest thing that struck us, we don't want people out there shooting each other. So naturally, they called not National Geographic, not the New York Times, they went to the Weekly World News, their favorite paper. We're avid readers of the Weekly World News, and they deal in this sort of unordinary type stories. You know, stories like this one about a vampire being alive today. The editors knew that the fossils were a journalistic discovery. Down the road, you might find yourself with a whole nest of them, maybe uh, 5 to 10 to 15 to 20. They may reproduce like rabbits. Sure. Well, after the article, Frank and Camille became celebrities. They turned up on TV shows everywhere. One of them was John and Lisa. It's, 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 it's too strange to believe. I, I was sucked in, and I thought, man, it's, these, these look like very, very normal people. Why do they have any reason to come on our show and pretend that they found the raptors? By the end of their interview, John and Lisa say that they didn't believe the story. So we decided to go straight to the source, the dino source, that is. We paid a visit to Frank and Camille's hometown. We were on a dinosaur hunt. You seen any dinosaurs around town? Come on, you gotta be kidding. You're not afraid to go out at night? No. No fear? No. No fear of an allosaurus coming up and biting you? No. Knowing what I know, I'm sure as hell not gonna go up there without, without a, a weapon with me. <laughs> As for the Sharos, all they seem to have are the pictures of these things. They say that they gave the dinosaur carcass and all the eggs to a dinosaur expert sent to them by the Weekly World News, who told them that it was an Allosaurus, a man-eater, so you know it must be true. But there's one problem. He's in Africa, and no one can seem to find him. They say there was another person on the dig site with them, a laborer. Okay, finally, someone who can back up their story. I just call him Bob. <laughs> I don't want to give a last name. But he's uh, uh, was working with us on that day, and uh, he wanted no part of anything. And he's gone. Last I heard, he was in Los Angeles. Rats. They say they called the sheriff's department. Perfect. They can help us. I don't, I don't think it's, I, should, I should give the officer's name without his permission. Double rats. They must have called the wrong sheriff's office, because the one that covers their county never heard from them. Wait a second. I know. Let's take a look at the shed with the hole. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's gone. I got rid of the, uh, the shed for the simple reason that the animals might have returned 
to the place of their origin, the place of their birth. Well, we found our own dinosaur expert. He says that to make an egg, you need a mom. That's one mom you couldn't miss. I think this is perfectly crazy. This is one of the most absurd claims I've ever heard. And until we have evidence, uh, it really isn't believable. So our dinosaur hunt failed. We found nothing. But you know, it's not so bad. We've waited 60 million years to see one. What's a few more? These animals, if there's any uh, intelligence to them, who knows what they are? Who knows that they don't have our scent? Who knows that one night I'm going to hear a noise out that window and there's going to be something out there that I don't want to see?